Hello everyone. So today we are going to build a real-time chat application with React, Node.js, and Socket.io. So before starting, let's see a demo of our chat application. Here I am opening three window. So let me first connect a room. To join a room, we just provide a username and a room ID. So I'm giving here Rana and a room ID one two three and join room and here I am giving Tani uh, sorry Tanbir and a room ID one two three same room ID and in third window we are giving Tani and a different room ID so that we can uh, understand that we are not receiving any message outside the room let's try to send a message from here hello Tanvir and here you can see we are receiving this message also the sender name and let's try to send message from here hello Rana here you can see but we are not receiving any message in uh, 3 to 1 room let's try to send a message from 3 to 1 room hello here you can see we are not receiving any message. So that's the full overview of our project. Let's jump into our coding part. So at first uh, in this video we are going to design only our front end page. So first you need to install a react application in your project folder. I already done this work and I deleted external files from this react app and it's just uh, printing hello from react here you can see okay let's be make another folder called component and inside this folder i create a file chat page dot jazz here we are going to write our chat page code and i'm just right here this is chat page let's import this chat page in our app.js file chat page of course we need to import this chat page outside of the function and also we need to input this component inside first bracket chat page let's save it and Let's see it's working or not. Here you can see this is chat page. Okay, now we are going to building our UI. Uh, it's very simple HTML code. I don't, I don't think I have to, I have to explain anything. So we need three input box. One is for name, one is for room ID, and another is for send message. So I just keep here enter your name and also need to store our name in a variable so I create a variable called name using use state of react I just we need to import this use state from react so we're going to store if uh, if anybody change anything in this input box we are going to store this as name variable so i'm just writing this function okay we need uh, to we need another input box for room id so for room id we are go we are creating a new variable called room id to store our room id and we build another variable for store our message so i'm give this same way and we need another we need two button one for join room and one for send message so we take a button okay so we're creating another div for our send message option so I just uh, paste here for message ok 
okay now we need another button for send message let's see here you can see i'm just adding here some custom uh, css uh, i'm just keeping designing part uh, because uh, i don't think i have to explain anything this is a very simple html and css design you can customize this as your choice so i'm just uh, give a formal code here so that's the front end design we need and this is the end of uh, this video in next video we are going to create our server here you can see design a simple ui for join room and send message is complete now second step is create a server with express we are going to create this server with express in our next video thank you everyone